question. And uh, let me ask you about this because you're, you're Catholic, correct? Okay. This I found amazing. Rick Santorum, who is more Catholic than the Pope, <laughs> loses every election among Catholics to Mitt Romney, and not by a little, like by 20 points. No. The Catholics themselves do not vote for Mr. Catholic. He's, and we don't think he's a Catholic. What? <laughs> no, we don't, because American Catholics are fine with modernity. We, we didn't buy the 1968 encyclical against the pill from the... We, they're the second highest uh, ethnic group who's pro-gay rights. We're cool. But you are... We, we, we <laughs> actually... Okay. okay, but you do have to admit that you are... Rick Santorum is in line with the teachings of the church. Yes. You are not. No, with the so church you are hierarchy. Because the Second Council said the church is not just the Pope and his bishops and whatever the hell he says. The Pope is also the people of the church who have a sense, what's called in Latin the census wow. fidelium, who have a sense in their own that experience is, and life. Wow. No, that is in the Second Council, Bill. Okay, well, that, that's quite a justification. I mean, I think most people would think the Pope speaks for the church more than anybody else because he is infallible. He talks to, hello, what's He's coming in? He's not infallible. <laughs> He's not infallible? Absolutely not. He's, he's been infallible twice ever. Um, that's a, he... Even once when is this fucking pope, ridiculous. When this pope... <laughs> the idea that you believe a human being could be infallible. He, he's infallible and he has the ability to send you to hell. Let that's a bad you, combination. Let me tell that's you. That's worse than the stand your ground law. Let, let me tell you. <laughs> most American Catholics don't buy that and don't believe that. And we operate but, at a local level. In our own communities, I will tell you this, I've never experienced anti-gay prejudice from my fellow parishioners or Catholics. I see them, I see them concerned about justice, I'm concerned about loving one another, I'm concerned about living up to what Jesus asked us to do. Santorum is about using power to control the lives of others, as is the Pope at this moment, tragically. But that's not Catholicism. But most Catholics do not go to church every week. Only a quarter of them go to Mass weekly. Um, they masturbate. They use contraception. As you say, they're for gay marriage. Don't you think a lot of Catholics, it's just about not breaking Aunt Agnes's heart? No. It's, it really, I really have found that a lot. You just, you just don't want to break the heart of that one old person in your family who wishes you'd go. But I see, I see this as a great... Now, believe it or not, some of us believe. Okay? We're not doing it because we want to please Aunt Maisie, or because we believe the Pope controls our lives. You go it's every because, week? It's because we have accepted what we believe is the truth that Jesus gave to us and want to live it out. And though we fail, we want to keep going. And that is, that's the essence of being Christian. And, and some of this other stuff is just irrelevant. It's peripheral, and it's about people, sinful people, exercising power. What's your religion? I'm an atheist. You're an atheist.